When thinking about the future, it is very easy to have a bleak, depressive view of how technology and energy will shape our societies. For one example, just look at how shattered and nihilistic any cyberpunk-style far future city turns out to be. They are cold, degenerate, and completely out of sync with nature, opting instead for the cold embrace of steel and neon. There is, however, an alternative, one view of the future that goes under the radar yet is perhaps the most joyous and hopeful for the potential balance of human ingenuity and God's design of the natural world. That philosophy is solar punk. Welcome to my channel TFC Tech where we discuss fascinating and relevant topics surrounding science and technology. Today we're going to break down how aiming for a future that encapsulates the solar punk aesthetic could possibly save the world and how it will be made possible by perhaps the greatest breakthrough in energy production of our lifetime, fusion energy. So if you're as excited about this as I am, hit the like button and the subscribe button guys, we are seriously close to 1000 subs. But without further ado, let's get into it. Solar punk is defined as a subgenre of science fiction that envisions a future in which humanity has learned to live sustainably and in harmony with nature and far future technologies. It paints the picture of a future that has lost the nihilistic shackles of the cyberpunk genre and replaced it with a bright and hopeful outlook that provides a gateway for humanity to have a bountiful future. A bountiful future that instead of reminiscing about the days long gone, looks forward and preserves the novelties of the past. In 2021, an independent animation studio named The Line created an ad for Chiobani that encapsulated perhaps the best example of what a bright and hopeful solar punk future would look like. In fact, this ad inspired so many people that individuals took it upon themselves to comb through the ad and remove all logos and dialogue so that simply the aesthetic could be captured. I'm gonna play the ad for you and I want you to pay attention to all of the futuristic technologies and how all aspects work together harmoniously to create quite the beautiful picture for the future. Let's take a look. So there's a lot to unpack in this ad, especially when it comes to how technology is used to enhance the daily life of this family here. For example, we can see that the technology enhancing this farm is largely powered by renewables, such as those wind turbines seen floating from the wires. Also, interestingly enough, the robot that can be seen picking apples in the commercial sort of already exists. Tevil Aerobotics Technologies has actually developed an autonomous robot that uses artificial intelligence to analyze, gather information about, and pick fruit from rows of fruit trees as seen here. So while this technology is amazing, I want to instead highlight the single biggest contributing factor that could lead us to a future like the one in Dear Alice. That being fusion energy. Fusion energy is a form of nuclear energy that generates power by combining atoms together rather than splitting them apart as in traditional nuclear power. In particular, it involves the fusion of different isotopes of hydrogen, which releases a tremendous amount of energy in the form of light and heat. Now what makes this method of energy production so special is that it has both an abundant amount of fuel in the form of seawater and produces virtually no waste products. Fusion is mostly powered by two isotopes of hydrogen, one being deuterium, which is particularly abundant in seawater, and the other being tritium, which can be bred from lithium, which is extremely abundant in the Earth's crust. 
It is important to state that currently lithium mines are basically no better for the environment than their fossil fuel counterparts, but I am confident that advancements in lithium extraction and refinement can and will be made. The reaction of these two isotopes requires a very small amount of fuel and produces a tremendous amount of energy from it. What makes this even better is that unlike nuclear fission, which produces quite a bit of radioactive waste, which must be managed very carefully, nuclear fusion produces very little waste, which is less radioactive and can be better managed over time. This brings us to today, where just a couple weeks ago scientists in California were able to produce fusion ignition, bringing us one step closer to our sustainable future. I'm going to reference an article from CBS News for you guys, which goes deep on this historic breakthrough. So let's read. Last month, the nearest star to Earth was in California, in a laboratory for the first time the world's largest lasers forced atoms of hydrogen to fuse together in the same kind of energy producing reaction that fires the sun. It lasted less than a billionth of a second, but after six decades of toil and failure, the Lawrence Livermore National Laboratory proved it could be done. If fusion becomes commercial power one day, it could be endless and carbon free. In other words, it would change the human destiny. The National Ignition Facility, or NIF, was built for $3.5 billion to ignite self-sustaining fusion. They tried nearly 200 times over 13 years, but like a car with a weak battery, the atomic engine would never turn over. The term nuclear ignition means igniting a fusion reaction that puts out more energy than the lasers used to ignite it put in. There, they have the world's most powerful laser. And what they uh -huh. do with a bunch of these lasers is they aim them all at a tiny target and they cause the target to explode. So if the target is uniformly heated, it, you know, mm -hmm. evenly in all directions, and the material is very uniform in all directions, so that would be a spherical shape, then the explosion right. creates an implosion on the other side of that explosion. Right? You can't just have stuff come out unless the Newton's law for every action is an equal and opposite reaction. So reaction. the explosion that comes out creates an explosion that points inward. Okay. And that very high pressure and very high temperature. And right. under those conditions, you can take two atoms, light atoms, right. and merge right. them into a heavier atom. Sweet. That takes a lot of high temperature to accomplish. Wow. But you have to get there for it to grab a hold of you and make a new atom. That's why gotcha. it takes high density, high Height. pressure, and high temperature to overcome this. All right, so that now is I'm, thermo. I'm with, I'm with you. That is thermo nuclear fusion. Thermo is hot. Fusion. Nuclear is the nucleus. Right. Fusion they're bringing it right. together. So what exactly does this have to do with the solar punk ad we watched a minute ago? Well, fusion energy has the potential to provide a safe, clean, and virtually limitless source of energy, which aligns with the solar punk aesthetic of a sustainable future in harmony with nature. Instead of ravaging the earth with toxic chemicals and creating unsafe smog in dense cities, we can have the best case scenario from here on out. Now that we have accomplished the challenge presented by the physics of nuclear fusion and proved that nuclear ignition is possible, it is only a matter of engineering to bring this to the point of commercial use. One day, it may even come to the point of having compact fusion reactors powering everyday electronics such as cars. But who knows, I can only hope that we will finally be able to rely on a truly renewable energy source that can hopefully facilitate a utopia of relatively limitless energy for all of mankind. One where humans can live in harmony with nature and be the caretakers of our beautiful home like we were meant to be. We can only hope and pray that those wishes truly come to fruition. But that's going to do it for the video guys, let me know what you think down in the comments below. Do you think fusion energy will be the big breakthrough that we've been needing in the way of practical renewable energy? That being said, don't forget to subscribe and check out some of my previous videos if you love science and technology. Take care and I'll see you in the next one.